My father drives us to our evening swim at Templeton Pool. Driving is a strain on him because of his Parkinson's. I, I'm afraid of driving. Something else I can add to the going list of things I feel guilty about. My vocabulary is punctuated with the words, I can't, as I, and I can't do this, I can't work, I can't function, I, I can't remember, I can't forget. My father slides the car into the disabled parking spot. We wade through the mundane sameness of our days. I stand under the shower, enjoying the hot jet of water drumming on my brain. Recovering from a psychotic episode, I feel the bottomized, slowly reclaiming what arable peace of mind I have left. Surrounded by naked older men, my body is younger, but my illness has aged me. My soul is old and tired. My mind has gone to seed. <laughs> Dullness, I tell myself, is good for me. The mindless meditative laps back and forth across the pool temporarily free my mind from the otherwise ceaseless treadmill of habitual worrying that has become my life. I joined my father in a sauna, sweating away in a cloud of steam. I meet Sean, a teacher from Ireland who frequents the pool. Sean has a story for me. Two guys in wheelchairs meet in a pub they have a friendly conversation. One wheels away, stands up, and does a dance to the amusement of his friends. His wheelchair act is just a practical joke. The wheelchair-bound guy watches unamused and beckons to him. The guy saunters over. The guy in the wheelchair grabs him by the collar and beats the living shit out of him. Never pretend to be disabled to someone who's truly disabled. I'm exposed as a fraud. He has called my bluff. Sean challenges the authenticity of my disability, suggesting I'm pretending to be more disabled than I, than I truly am. I myself question the legitimacy of my disability after hearing his story cowering the shadows, seeking refuge in my sickness, blaming society for my fears. I've had enough of my hard luck stories, sick to death of my self-pity, feeling sorry for myself, going on and on and on about my mental health. My father doesn't allow his Parkinson's to stop him from living. I need to find the everyday courage to keep on keeping on. To know the world, you have to embrace it, especially on days you can't bear to face it. Since then, I have taken on too much to prove to myself what I can do with this ability. There's nothing I can't do within my limitations, and most limitations are imaginary. I started out by volunteering. I did peer support work. I facilitated wellness workshops. Then I went to college to train as a community social service worker. Through my practicum, I eventually got a job as a mental health worker in a mental health drop-in center where I used to be a client. I started making documentary films again I did everything I could to make up for my previous low self-esteem, and I burnt myself out. I realize now the key is balance. I, I don't need to prove myself to anybody, not even myself. I need to remind myself that I contribute in the way I know how, as best as I can, 
For I am born outside societal definitions of normalcy, beyond the confines of conformity. I honor myself and my abilities. I'm not a prisoner of my fears anymore. I am free!